days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Two. Maybe Genesis chapter one. God said, "God says to Adam and Eve, be fruitful and multiply." Multiply, yeah. And the now that's God ordained. Uh huh. This is this is God Himself ordained. He He has ordained for man and woman together in. Mary in oneness to have offspring. Yes, sir. After sin comes in, after after Eve sin, doing God's will requires pain. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was like, go ahead, because I want oh. that, that pain. Go ahead. Oh, you still for multiply now. But now it's gonna now it's gonna cost you in a way. Good Lord, that's gonna cost you. And 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 that, you don't hear people talk about this a whole lot now, but but I think Paul told Timothy that if he continue in, in childbearing, yes sir, you will be saved. Yeah, I know, right? I, I ain't figured out. Yeah, I ain't figured out. Yeah, what Paul talking about? He said, but if she continue in childbearing, she'll be. I'm like. Good Lord, what is that guy yeah, doing? Ooh, yeah, yeah, what was yeah? Hey, listen, I, I, I don't, I don't have no light on this. I just know when I read that verse over the Timothy, and I think about what happened in, in Genesis, and I think about what God said to the woman, and when Joseph was talking about how, because how, I was in that room with my wife, when my wife had her kid. Right, right, right. And I remember, I remember when I was standing there. And uh -huh. I saw all those birth pains coming. I'm like, I, this is clear day that verse in Genesis came to my mind. Yeah. I remember standing in that birthing room, man, looking up to God saying, good Lord. Amen, <laughs> man. Oh. Amen. Well, Amen. Listen, God is real. If he tell you, say it, it, it's sorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. So, that was my first uh, inkling that God is real. And then his word does not fail. Yeah. It don't. <laughs> it does not. And it is paid for it. And it goes away right after the birth. That's you, right. That's that is the weirdest thing in the world to me, man. It's like, how, how do you go through that one time and do it again? <laughs> and obviously somebody's doing it again, because look at all the people on earth. <laughs> they do no it. Way, I mean, I remember it. So, here's what so it's like, it would be no people on earth. <laughs> here's what they have to do. Mankind would be extinct if I had to do that. <laughs> Does, that is here, here's the principle. Does obeying God in the flesh inherently require pain? Interesting. That, that. It will when it's time to bear fruit. No, 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 no. It, <laughs> well, well, you just read some verses about the fruit of the spirit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. That whenever we are trying to be, a, we are willing to be obedient to God, to uh -huh. do what God says, it always encompasses some kind of pain flesh one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amen. Because you see, when he said turn the other cheek, not only are you signing up for physical pain, but a deeper pain is the, the fact that you got to turn the other cheek. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's a little pain of having to submit yourself and let somebody, the old folk needs to say, don't let nobody walk on you. Uh -huh. But God is telling you, let them walk on you. Exactly. That's right. And when you do that, you're going to find out there's something on the inside that feels mistreated, that uh -huh. feels that there's an injustice. Okay. It's a kind of pain. Uh -huh. You know, the strange thing about it is after the fall in the garden, the love of God was not manifested in the earth. So now we've got to manifest that love because the reconnect, we can manifest the love of God in the earth. We all the time talk about, and we try this to people who've never seen or have no concept or understanding of what we're talking about when we talk about the love of God. Okay. 
we have to demonstrate that to give them a reference point. Mm. They haven't seen it, so the first thing they're going to do is rail against it. When when you show love to somebody that's never seen love, right? Their response is not going to necessarily, most probably not going to be positive. They are going to do something to you to get you acting right. I don't know how many people have ever had like their children were kind of like timid or something, and you did something to them to make them a little bit more aggressive. You know, you talked to them aggressively, you treated them aggressively, or you had a dog that you wanted to be vicious, so you treat them in a certain manner. The world system, aside from the will of God, is a vicious place. It's an evil place. And if we and we think in our mind that we have to teach our children to survive in this environment because that's what, all we know. Yeah, yeah. But then somebody comes along and shows the love of God. They actually demonstrate the love of God. And we look at it strange because in this environment, it is strange. Why? Because we cut off from God and the world system is dark. Okay. We see the light, it's not like us, we try to put it out. It sustains and then we get curious and then we get the change because we're drawn by that light that we were trying to put out initially. Uh -huh. I think each one of us most probably had that experience. We didn't come here trying to serve God or people that did serve God. We looked at them as being weak and somebody said this earlier, it might have been Jimmy, that they run out and people that got saved were people who couldn't succeed. So they had to have a, a crutch or an excuse for their lack of success. Uh -huh. But as we grow in it, we find out that God's way is life giving. It is really life because the world system, the way is destructive. Okay. It can't sustain itself. That's what we realize the system doesn't work. But when we come into the kingdom of God and we understand the distribution of power and the application of it from a sense that it should edify anybody that it impacts, then we begin to embrace that and to propagate it. But that's not something that the world system looks at as being strength. So that's that image we were talking about before. It's like, I don't know if I want to look like that or not, but then we at some point have to embrace the pain that comes with it because it's inherent. Okay, okay. Can you put, can you...